Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to do another 15-10 game. Let's play d4. And c4. c5. I don't really play uh, against this line very much. I don't know what this would be called. It's obviously a gambit line, look, because we can take that and it's, it, he's just gambiting this pawn for exactly the same reason that we're gambiting this pawn for. Or well, if he, it would be a gambit if he played d5. Um, we could maybe look into just grabbing a bit of space, so pushing. We could maybe look into there. Takes takes, we get a nice centralized knight. We could even look into this to just try and support that pawn and then if takes then we take back and we've got a C and D pawn and we've got an open E file. Hmm. I think I like the look of uh, the push more, just grab a bit of uh, space, just push past. And he immediately challenges. So, knight c3, if takes, then we take back. So he's lost uh, an E pawn and we've lost a C pawn effectively, which is essentially how the Queen's Gambit tends to work. So I I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards Knight C3, I think. Takes. 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 Does, it, does he have something to be able to do? And I think we should uh, be playing e4 here as well. It opens up our bishop. We can then play, uh, we're also defending that pawn. We can play knight f3 as well. Yeah. e4, I think. plays that then we would need to defend e4 somehow. We could even look at f3 I think because this diagonal uh, I was gonna say it's not gonna open up anytime soon but it's not like this is like fixed here he can just push that and weaken this diagonal for us so hmm maybe bishop g5 first so just uh just pin this uh this knight so the knight can't move and then look into playing a move like that of course he, he could just uh play that couldn't he i like to develop so Let's do that. I'm already uh, in a situation where I don't know exactly what the best move is. So this is already frustrating. So we can play knight f3 here. We could play e4. If 
feel like there's some tactics about somewhere. I don't, I don't know what they would be. Let's play Knight F3. So if if we did a e4 now, knight takes does not work because this bishop takes queen. He would he would even if he responded with there, knight takes knight there to hit our queen with the intention of getting like pawn. He's only he's still going to be down a lot of material that just doesn't work at all. <sighs> so e4 and then he castles. We could play bishop to there or something, or just bishop to there to help defend. I think e4 seems fine. I'm way down on time because I've been having to try and just work work out uh, what to do in this opening. I could play bishop to there, which is just a little bit annoying for that knight. He may be looking into playing uh, his queen to there just so he can like pressure this because he's got that there like that. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. That's probably it. Hmm. Oh, I wish I knew what I was doing in this opening so I had some ideas. Maybe I should just get my, my rook off this this diagonal like that. Just rook, rook to there just to defend against that when that happens. And then look into a move like that. Or maybe we could play that and then after that then we can play that. Let's just do it. Wasted a lot of time. I usually like to be on move 20 when I'm getting to about this amount of time. I'm on move 10. Wow, okay. So he's just taking away this uh, square from from the knight. Right. So there does not work because he's just got takes, takes. Yeah, it just doesn't work. We could maybe get the rook to an open file. Well, uh, a file where we have intentions to maybe push a pawn. We could get maybe rook to there and start putting plans like uh, that, that, 
and that interaction. Just see see how that goes. I mean, at the very least, we're getting it off of this diagonal here, so uh, the bishop's not going to be able to like make some nasty discovery and win our rook. Right. Right, right, right. So he's just expanding on this side of the board. If he plays to there, we have to move the bishop back to there, I guess. Is that what he's trying to do? He's trying. No, he can't be trying to weaken our grip on that pawn because this is still pinned. That's an annoying pin for him as well. Um, if we go there, then that doesn't really work as well. Let's do that. <clears throat> Just make it so that move there isn't going to be working too well. I like night takes here. Because, yeah, we now have a connected almost past pawn. Would this be classed as a past pawn? I think it would be actually, because it's a past pawn if it doesn't have a. Uh, if your opponent doesn't have a pawn of the same. Uh, file which is blocking its way. So this is actually a pass pawn now he's just given us, which is outstanding. So we could look into playing there and then takes, takes, sort of ideas. Hmm. We could uh, look into f3, we could look into f4, f4 might. No, because I like I like that this pawn is neutralizing his own bishop. So I, I, I like that a lot. That makes me feel really good about this sort of situation. Uh, if we did that, he could just push, and then he has a passed pawn. So... What do we want to do? That's the question. That is the question. And I just have no idea what the answer is. Maybe uh, is F4 a good move? It might be a good move. Let's play it. Let's just try and open things up. He's got more time than we started with, and I've got less than five minutes. Here we're just going to play that. And then that.
And here we can't just play that and win something because that's not winning something, unfortunately. It's just queen takes and... Yeah, he, he's got enough things to defend that knight. <sighs> that's annoying. But I do like that it opens up my rook. So maybe I should play it anyway. Maybe I should just play it anyway. And here we... don't have a specific plan in mind, I don't believe. We could play bishop to there, just, just hit the queen. And then look to double on this file, perhaps. Let's do that. We are hitting the queen with the tempo, so why not? Is it that bad? We're already in blitz mode. We're approaching like bullet mode, and this is just bad. This is just very, very bad. With my dire time situation right now, a draw would probably be not a bad option for me. Even with these pawns like this. Oh, okay, hang on, we're winning a pawn. So queen, queen takes queen, knight takes, bishop there. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's get the queens off. Let's for me to calculate. Bishop to there, <clears throat> we're hitting his rook. He would need to play bishop to there to defend this pawn. At which point we can just push that anyway and we're nicely covering ourselves. So what, why doesn't he care if we do that. Bishop takes pawn. He's not threatening that. He could be threatening bishop takes, pawn takes, then rook takes there. That's completely possible. But fair enough, if that's what he wants to do. Give up his, uh, his bishop for a knight. He clearly did want to do that. And here I'm wondering where would our bishop like to go to? If we go there, we could go there, we could go there. Hmm. Yes. We're not even up a pawn anymore. Got a nice pass pawn though, I have to say. It's a very nice looking pass pawn. Um, I think maybe work to there, just look for a trade. Yep. So, yeah. Cool. Right, well, we do have to take.
Oh. Just don't know what to do. Maybe just aggressively push this pawn. I'm running low on time, so I'm not even able to calculate everything as fully as I might like at this point. What happens if we go there now? Then he's going knight to there. We're in bullet mode right now, and I'm not good at bullet. <sighs> this might be an okay position, though. Uh, if I pushed there, he would have to play his knight there, wouldn't he? Because otherwise we're going check and then just winning. <laughs> Yes, yes, thank you. I, I really needed to hear that I was so low on time. Thank you. Oh, flipping hell. Jesus Christ. Oh, bloody hell. If I go there... Fine, I'm going there. Now knight to there, now push, and... well, I don't know. It's not like I've got many great options, is it, in this situation? He'll probably want to play his knight to that square, which, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's a good move. We need to infiltrate with our rook. We need to get it to do something. Right, well now we can just go up material, can't we? We can just go check. Win a piece. Check. Fold on check. Because there. Ah, oh, it doesn't do anything. God, that sucks. All right, good. We're now in a winning end game. That's that's fine. <sighs> I'm so happy that he didn't make that more difficult for me by, you know doing any number of possible things that he could have done, which would have made my life a lot more difficult. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, just general strategy, uh, if uh, your opponent is in a time situation like I was in, you want to keep as much material on the board as you can, because that is going to uh, mean that I had more to calculate and I had more to worry about. just in general. So yeah, you, you want to keep as much material on the board still as you can, try and complicate their life, make them regret their decisions earlier on in the game, which meant that they spent so much more time than they were supposed to. Okay, so they resign and we win that game, which is very good. 
plus 14.8 on the final final evaluation. Oh wow. I'm not happy with how I played the opening. I'm really not happy. That is textbook what not to do. Just in case you're wondering. That was appalling use of time management. And when you're under a lot of time pressure, you you make mistakes. You you do things wrong. You 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 play moves that you you weren't going to have played had you had the time to think things through properly as much as you would have, you would have liked. <sighs> but yeah, uh, you usually try and stick to schedule when, when you play. You don't want to be in a time situation like I was in. I mean, by like move 20, I had well le well less than uh, half my time. It, it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty bad. I'm interested to see. Uh, what the, uh, the computer analysis makes of the game. How much further is there? I think it's approaching the opening, so hopefully there shouldn't be too many more mistakes or even blunders. Oh, that, that's good. Well, it's not good, obviously. I, okay, so I got four inaccuracies, two mistakes, zero blunders. We're happy about the zero blunders. Not happy about the two mistakes, the four inaccuracies. Mm, we can we can live with, we can get by. Our opponent four inaccuracies, five mistakes, two blunders. So our average centre point loss was thirty two, their average centre point loss was sixty. And let's see uh, how the game went. What the um uh, what the opening can teach us. Okay, so here it did want e4. It, it wanted e4 over bishop g5. e4 was the move. I didn't didn't play it. I played bishop g5, <laughs> and again e4, and then eventually we did play e4. We played bishop e uh, d3. Sorry. Um, he castles. We castle. A6, B5, A3 was second best move, so that's fine. And then Knight E5 was an inaccuracy. Yeah, I didn't think Knight E5 looked good because look, uh, he's, he's got his dark square bishop on this diagonal. He doesn't want to have his own pawns on this diagonal, which uh, he can't get past. So when we take there, the only way he can take is with that pawn, and that also weakens his, uh, his structure as well. So actually, maybe it doesn't weaken his structure, but it, it just it's annoying for him because it, his bishop can't see past it. So yeah, so that's why I was so interested in taking that away. F4 was an inaccuracy. Damn. I thought I liked the look of f4. Yeah. So the f4, uh, for the reason that I just said, uh, probably wasn't a good move. We want him to struggle to get past that. I shouldn't have helped him. So instead, it wanted b3 or b4. I don't think I would have ever played b3. Although b3, I mean, it's re re readjusting like uh, the uh, the thoughts from from earlier on in the game. Uh, we we don't have to worry anymore about the the bishop swooping in and taking the knight. So this sh this would show that we don't need to worry about that anymore. So we we, we understand how the pawn structure's changed, and we've now compensated for that. We've played a move that we wouldn't have thought about a few moves ago. 
So maybe I should have started to consider that. I just didn't for whatever reason, and that actually prevents this move as well. Which, yeah, we, we don't want this move to, uh, to be played. We don't want him to get a protected pass pawn. Okay, so uh, I can see why b3 would have been a good move. I just uh, I didn't readjust after after this. I was focused on opening up the position and yeah, look at my appalling time management already here. I mean, I'm well below half my time. <laughs> I'm down to below five minutes by the time I actually played that move. Uh, and that was an inaccuracy. Wow, okay. How does this one work? It's a nice tactic. So after bishop g4, that, that was actually a mistake by him. Um, we should have played bishop takes f6. Bishop e2 was the second best move, but this was an only move. This was a, a nice tactic. How does it work? So he can't... Right, okay. Uh, if he goes there, we go there. And we've just won a piece, haven't we? Yeah, so we've just won a piece. That would have been a nice, uh, a nice tactic to say. I, I just missed that. To be fair, I was down to four and a half minutes at that uh, at this point. And by the time I actually played bishop e2, uh, I played that very quickly. I was very worried about t uh, time at this point, so that's why I wasn't playing. I wasn't necessarily calculating as much as I as I would have liked. Wow. Okay. So once to play that, I didn't even consider that as a possibility. I don't, I don't know. Right, so we, we want to try and open up the king a bit more. That's, that's interesting. It's really interesting stuff. Uh, it's interesting to see the plans that the computer comes up with in relation to, to what you come up with. Yeah, so queen to third takes... And there we played bishop to there, which is actually a an inaccuracy. He should have played bishop check, and then like that. Oh, that would have been so annoying. Yeah, and that would have really punished me for my time management missing that. Yeah, so we wanted to prevent him from being able to get his bishop into there like that. And that's what that move does. So, an inaccuracy. Then we push that. Knight g7 was a blunder on his part. We then move our rook in behind there. Oh, here we should have uh, pushed. But then he's going to play that, isn't he? And then he plays that. What if then he plays that? Yeah, I, I just, I didn't have it. I was down to 45 seconds at this point. Cut, cut me a bit of slack. I, sh I should have yeah, I had better time management. I really should have done. This isn't uh, very good at all. I'm, I'm not capitalising on the position uh, in the way I would have liked. So that's really annoying. Uh, I missed uh, a bunch of uh, good moves. Oh look, right here, you, uh, we could just play that and then it's even better, but... 
yeah, so uh, here he traded down when it was favourable for me. That was bad of him. And uh, yeah, this is uh, it's just completely winning. We're, we're up a piece. We're, we're, we're forcing him away from the defence of this pawn. It's, it's just going to be a matter of technique at this point. We're going to be able to win it. So the uh, the two mistakes of this game were that we missed a tactic, and there we should have just pushed. Yeah. Okay. That would have been really good to see. All right, thanks guys. Um, uh, if you liked it, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. All right, uh, bye guys.